Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I get my hair to go from this to this. So this is how my hair dries naturally. I just washed it last night, so it's freshly washed. And this is what it looks like after my little tips and tricks that I'm going to be showing you in just a moment. It's very minimal effort. It's super quick and easy to do. I've been getting a lot of questions and requests from you guys about how I get my hair to look this way. So that's why I decided to do this tutorial. And this has been my go-to hairstyle over the last Few weeks so if you guys are interested to know my secrets on how I achieve my wavy hair then please keep watching all right so I am just going to clip this hair so that it's out of the way and doesn't get mixed up with the rest of my hair that is not styled and the first thing that I do is get my heat styling tools ready to go so I have my t3 whirl trio curling wand I believe that's what it's called it will be linked down below in my description box and I have the one inch curling barrel on it and I also have my croc infrared flat iron so while those are heating up what I like to do is go in with a good heat protectant I always 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 apply applied heat protectant to my hair before any kind of heat styling. This is the Bumble and Bumble Hair Dressers in Visible Oil. I love this stuff. It's not only good for natural hair, it's also incredible for hair extensions. So what I do is put a couple of pumps into my hand and then I just kind of comb it through my hair using my fingers like this. And to make sure I really distribute the product, I just take my brush and I comb it out. All right, so now I'm gonna start styling my hair from bottom to top. And what I'm gonna do is work with sections that are about an inch or two in thickness. And then I'm gonna take my curling wand and face it downwards, kind of roll it back and forth at the roots, just like that to smooth them out. And then wrap the section of hair around the barrel away from my face. And I literally leave it on the barrel for a second or two. And then you'll get this really pretty loose wave like that. So again, I'm gonna take another section, smooth out the top, wrap, hold, one, two, and release. See, this one is a little bit too curly for my liking at the top, so I'm just going to pull on the curl a little bit just to straighten it out. And what I also like to do is to brush through the curls with my fingers to really loosen them up and make them look like effortless beach waves. So again, I'm just smoothing out the top, wrap, hold, and release. It's literally so easy and it takes no time to do my entire head like this. And it also lasts such a long time. So I'm basically gonna repeat these steps all over my head. And then I'm gonna show you how I use my flat iron. So with my flat iron, what I like to do is smooth out any of those baby hairs that are around my face. And if any sections are a little too curly, I'll just quickly run over that to smooth it out a little bit. Just like that. I'm gonna finish curling the top section and show you how I finish it off. So now that I'm working with the top section, it's kind of easier for you guys to see how I'm leaving out like the first several inches of hair so that the top part remains kind of smooth and it goes into this beautiful soft wave and doesn't start right at the top. So after I finish curling all of my hair, I like to just go in um, into the front sections and smooth them out a little bit more just so that they're not so tight and curly. And then what I like to do is section my hair like about an inch or two above my ear. 
And then I'll clip in a weft from my Fancy Hair Extensions in a lighter uh, color than the base color of my hair. Actually, this color matches my balayage highlights perfectly. And this is just gonna add more dimension to my hair and it's going to look like I have more highlights in my hair than I actually do. That's a little hack for you guys. If you're looking to add highlights to your hair quickly and easily without actually dyeing it, just get a set of clip and hair extensions. Like the easiest thing ever and it lightens up your hair. It looks beautiful. Can't even tell that you're wearing hair extensions. And it will add some volume to your hair as well. Not that I need it. My hair is already super long and super thick, but I love the multi-dimensional look that it gives my hair. I also went ahead and already clipped in the other weft on the other side. So as you can see, once it's clipped in and my hair is covering up the weft, you can't even tell that I'm wearing clip-in hair extensions. So if you guys are interested in checking out Fancy Hair Extensions, there will be a link in my description box down below. And the last step that I like to do is go in with this Indian Hemp and Tamanu Row and Strength Edge Taming Taffy by Nubian Heritage. I've mentioned this product on my channel quite a couple of times and I still have so much product left in this tub because you just need the tiniest, tiniest amount. I already applied it to this side of my head, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to the other side. And what this does is basically slick down any tiny baby hairs. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but I have a few little tiny baby hairs that are living their life. What I love about this hairstyle is that once the curls start to fall, it starts to look better and better. So with every day that you rock this hairstyle, it's just going to look better and better. So those are my secrets to achieving my wavy hair. As you can see, it's really easy. It literally takes no time whatsoever. My hair has been so good right now. It's been loving this really hot environment that we have in Toronto right now. So I haven't found the need to go in with a finishing serum, but if you find that your hair is more on the drier side, I would highly, highly recommend checking out the Oribe Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil. In the winter time and the fall time, this is my go-to. I always add this to like the mids and ends of my hair after I heat style it to really lock in that moisture and leave my hair looking shiny and healthy. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new and will give this hairstyle a try yourself. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below. And if you have any requests for me on videos that you would like to see me do on this channel, leave it down for me below as well. And as always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me, and I will see you in my next one.